Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today I wanted to do a little um, video on sun care and sun protection. Now I was just um, due to go on holiday and I wanted to know what products to buy for my kids so they're protected and for myself. So I was researching it and then I thought, do you know what, if I have to research it to save you doing it, I'll just tell you about it. And hopefully it will answer some of the questions that you didn't know. Um, so firstly, it, I went onto the um, Skin Cancer Org website to find out a few of the guidelines and it, obviously it said um, seek shade especially between the hours of 10 and 4. Um, I keep my kids pretty much out of the sun as much as I can around those hours. Um, avoid tanning and UV tanning booths. Don't burn, obviously. Um, use a broad spectrum of sun creams which with any SPF of 15 or higher for extended day activities, use use a water resistant broad spectrum with an SPF of 30 or higher. Um, this was an interesting one that I didn't know. Apply one ounce or two tablespoons of sun cream to your entire body 30 minutes before you go outside, reapply every two hours. Um, which I didn't actually know how much to apply, I just do it until I'm completely covered. Other things I found out was how long do your sunscreens last? Because I seem to buy one um, every every year and I was like, is that necessary? So I bought one and on the back it says 12 months. So that means that it's going to last you 12 months and then you need to throw it away. So pretty much every time you go on holiday you need to buy a new one. Um, however, some of them don't have this and according to the Cancer Org website, if they don't have this, they will last up to three years. Um, but, however, if they change smell or they change colour, like this one's white, if it goes yellow, then it needs to be binned, it's not going to do its job anymore. So that was quite interesting to find out. Another thing I found out is that SPF, the higher the SPF, it doesn't mean the more it protects you, it doesn't mean it's double protection, it just means that it's going to be a thicker layer that lasts that little bit longer. Still means you have to apply the same amount, so it doesn't mean it's double the protection of a um, 25 it just means it's a bit more, it's going to reflect a little bit more. And obviously, when you put it on, wait two hours and then reapply. And I would say, even if it's waterproof, keep reapplying because I don't know I don't know how much I trust them personally. My daughter is very, very fair and she's got strawberry blonde hair. And um, when we go on holiday, I have to keep applying it to her, even if it's waterproof, because it doesn't last as long as I think they say it does. And I just... She's precious to me and I want to protect her. My son has slightly more olivey skin, so his doesn't burn as much, but she just gets this rash instantly. She takes after her mother, unfortunately. My son takes after my um, husband. Another really important thing is, if you apply this twice, doesn't mean you're going to get double that protection. It's actually going to break it down and dilute it. If you have an SPF of 15 on your face, on your daily face moisturiser, and then you put an SPF of 50 on it, it's not going to double up again. You're not going to have an SPF of 65 because it's diluting it down. So it's very complicated, but it's not going to add together because actually they're breaking each other down. So a sunblock is going to reflect the rays and a sun lotion usually designed to accelerate with little or no protection. Oh, that's quite scary. So a sunblock is going to block out the sun. A sun lotion is going to just slowly tan you. Right, let me break down. You have UVA rays, ultraviolet rays, and then you have UVB, ultraviolet B. Now, ultraviolet A is long wave, and ultraviolet B is short wave. Both penetrate the atmosphere and can cause skin aging, eye damage and skin cancer. So both are bad. So protect your skin. UVA goes deeper into the skin's layer, penetrates more deeply than UVB. So UVA is what gives you a tan and can cause form long-term damage. And UVB causes sunburnt skin redness damage to the skin. So UVA is going to give you a tan, UVB is going to cause you to burn. But unfortunately, both of them exist when you're out in the sun. Also, UVB burns the skin all year round, and it, but it doesn't penetrate glass. UVA can penetrate the glass. So an SPF of 50 is an indication of how long it will take for the UV, UVB rays to start penetrating the skin and start burning it. So with this one, it means you've got 50 minutes. With this one, it means you've got tw uh, 15 minutes. I hope that's 
explained a little bit for you. Lastly, if you have little ones um, or you know that there's certain areas on your face that you really, really burn, then get some zinc block. And they're normally the bright coloured kind of things that you put on your lips and you put on your nose when you go skiing. And that's just going to protect that sensitive skin a little bit more. Um, and I think that's everything. And I was just researching it, so I thought I'd let you know about it as well. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't speak too fast. I do tend to do that. Um, but hopefully you got something from it, and it might help you choose the sunscreen that you want to. And hopefully it will stop a lot of you getting burnt this year. Hopefully it will stop me getting burnt this year, because I am lazy, and I never put my sun cream on properly. Um, but hopefully this year, now I've read up about it, and I realise how much it damages you, and more to the point how much it ages you, um, and I don't want to get, look older, then I'm going to be very, very careful with it this year. Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, guys. See you next time.